Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a background to a character scene in your experience. Now backgrounds are a, a way to take your experience out of the AR view and allow a little bit of customizability and a new way of presenting your experience to your users. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can use this background tool in your own experiences and I'm going to leave this QR code on the screen for the next few seconds. Feel free to scan the code and experience the experience for yourself so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by clicking create new experience. Now here's what I'm going to do. Before we get started we need to name our experience so we'll call this uh, backgrounds example one and then let's add um, some dialogue we'll call this uh, background one I'm gonna add another scene and we'll call this uh, background two because I'm going to show you two different uh, backgrounds that you can use okay so now let's add a couple of buttons uh, this one will be uh, maybe uh, a a square button, well actually let's make them both square buttons and then this other one will end the experience. Now let's add a couple of characters, let's put next on this one and let's link that up to the next scene. Now I'm gonna search for uh, maybe like a robot or something, I like the robot characters that we have in here. Um, so this is great. Okay now let's uh, add another robot, we'll add this spinny robot, okay cool. So now let's get into the backgrounds themselves. So in order to place a background in your experience, what you're going to want to do is click on an empty space in the scene itself. So now you'll see that we have our same menu with the response style for buttons and underneath that you'll see that there is this section that says scene background. So when you click on that you're going to have a bunch of different color options that you can choose for your backgrounds. And so you can select colors and this will take it out of the AR mode but if you ever want to switch it back there's this augmented reality background which will put it back to the normal AR mode. Um, so you can choose whatever color you want but what I really wanted to show you um, in terms of these backgrounds is that you can actually uh, place images from URLs and you can basically put websites in the background as well if you find a really cool website that you want to use and so you're gonna put that URL right here where it says URL now I went ahead and did a Google image search of cool phone backgrounds and there's a bunch of backgrounds here so let's just click on this first background and what I'm going to do is click on view image now this is going to take me uh, to the website where the image is located on what I'm going to do now is just copy and paste this into the URL section of this character scene. So now when I press enter it'll take a couple of seconds but a preview should pop up with the background image and you can see that psychedelic blue and purple background has now appeared in the background of this scene. So the other type of background that I wanted to show you is a, a website. So if you find a really cool website that has some sort of animation um, in the background, you can also use that in your experience. So I found this really cool website called Twitter Matrix that basically displays uh, a matrix style green letters falling down from the top of the web browser. And so all I'm going to do again is just copy and then we'll paste this in the background of this second scene and you can see a preview pops up it's not moving right now because it's in preview mode when you experience it you'll see that the letters are dropping down uh, just like the website and so last but not least let's uh, make this button end the experience okay so now we have our fully functioning experience uh, this is a way to uh, customize your character backgrounds and add a background uh, of your own choosing. Um, again, to reiterate, what we just did is we grabbed a URL from an image and an actual URL that is animated and we placed them in the background of our character scenes. So I'm going to leave this QR code on the screen again for the next few seconds so you can scan the experience and take a look for yourself. I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial and we will see you next time.